All right, good morning, San Diego. Welcome back. The time right now is 1020. Well, from being a frustrated teacher to a guest at the White House, Alex Kajitani is one of the best teachers out there, no doubt. And he has just co-authored a new book. I have it right here. Chicken Soup for the Soul, Inspiration for Teachers. Alex is joining us this morning. He's from right here in San Diego. Again, he was one of the best teachers in this. He was the best teacher, I guess, in the state of California. I don't know if you could actually ever gauge the best teacher, but certainly I was the one chosen to represent teachers across the state. So oh, you're pretty, so pretty happy about that. Nice to have you here, Alex. Thanks. It's so good to be here. Congratulations, too, on all your accomplishments. Ah, thanks. Um, my goodness. So you're from our area real quick. Where did you teach? Yeah, I started teaching down in La Mesa Spring Valley for a few years, and uh, but most of my career I was with the Escondido Unified uh, Escondido Union School District, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, my family and I live in Carlsbad now. That's awesome. And so in 2009, you were California Teacher of the Year. That's right. Yeah, I got I uh, got to represent California teachers uh, for the year, and then. Uh, was actually really honored to be selected as one of the top four finalists for National Teacher of the Year and got to go and visit President Obama at the White House. And uh, since then, you know, uh, af after I, I taught for a few more years after that, mm -hmm. and now I'm really just traveling around the country and speaking at education conferences and uh, really motivating teachers, do a lot of professional development and everything from, you know, district offices to school cafeterias and then just on this mission to keep teachers highly motivated and inspired so that they can keep on doing the work that they're doing mm -hmm. every single day. That is so important, which it is, really is which is what led you obviously to, yeah. to co-author this this book. It looks really, really interesting. And uh, you know it's it's not easy. I can I can only imagine it's not easy being a teacher. You know, it's it's not easy and that was why uh, the co author Amy Newmark and I, you know, with along with Chicken Soup for the Soul, really put together this collection of stories because teachers need to know that what this what this book really is is it's a testament to what an amazing difference teachers make in the lives of their students every single day it is filled with stories that will make you make you laugh out loud and make you cry you know good tears and just really be reminded of all of the stories that that really just celebrate the job that we do every single day i always i always say you know money runs out and, and beauty fades and machines fall apart but when we teach, we, we live forever because it's really the things that we teach our students and then they go on to teach other people at, that, that help us live forever. And, and sure. those are the only things that can be, really be passed down from one generation to the next. And so that's why I'm really excited about getting this book in as many teachers hands as possible very good you know and I know as a parent and I'm learning because my my son who's the only one right now in school I'm learning how much you as a teacher will can have a lifelong impact in in my child absolutely you know it's it's, it's fitting that I'm here on Mother's Day because you know as they say parents are off parents really are our students first teachers mm -hmm. but the other reality is that a lot of times as teachers we are acting as parents or we're, mm -hmm. we're sometimes, you know, parenting mm -hmm. a lot of our students. And so it really takes the combined effort of parents and teachers as well as the community to come together and educate our students. You know, looking through the book, you've got um, really interesting chapters here, chapter titles. Um, there's one on a lesson in kindness. Yeah. Tell me about that and why that's important as a teacher. Yeah, you know, what's interesting, first of all, I've got to say is that so many of the stories in this book were written by people whose teachers push them a little bit beyond their comfort zone, push mm -hmm. them a little bit beyond what they actually thought was possible. And so that story, along with a lot of the stories, really are about the times when, you know, sometimes students didn't necessarily believe in themselves as much as their teachers believed in them. And sometimes mm. the kindest thing that we can do as teachers is see a student not only as they are, but as they can be. And when we take that time to connect with them, to, to help them, whether it's with academic learning or something that's social and emotional, mm -hmm. but when we take that time to really get to know them and then push them beyond what they thought was possible, that was really the focus of so many of these stories mm -hmm. in this book, is, is really not just being kind, but also being kind enough to say, I believe in you sometimes more than you even believe in yourself. Wow, and then being able, like you said, to me during the commercial break is being able to relate to them and then engage them and, and teach 
where you're making learning fun. I got to say this, uh, and I just learned this after meeting you, Alex, that you, uh, one of the unique things about you was when you were teaching math. That's right. You were rapping to your students. Absolutely. Math. Yeah, I was having a very tough time <laughs> connecting uh, with my students and getting them to remember the math rules, but I realized that they could remember every single word to a rap song. So I thought, I've, I've got to play on this strength. Oh, and so my goodness. I actually started rapping about the, the math that I was teaching. Now, and I got to ask you, do you remember? Oh, you remember I, I, I remember let's, a lot of them. Let's hear it. All right, the first song I ever did was about adding and subtracting decimals. Okay. And so I wrote a song called The Itty Bitty Dots. And it went, now what in the world is that itty bitty dot? Yo, I just can't remember. And it's making me distraught. I saw it in the price of the item I just bought. It's the decimal point. Yeah, now you're getting hot when you add and subtract them. There must be a rule. So listen to my rhyme and use it as a tool. Just line up the dot and give it all you got. I said, line up the dot and give it all you got. And you will never forget how to balance your checkbook ever again. Oh, my gosh. I love thank it. You, thank you. Alex Kajitani, no wonder you were. California's Teacher of the Year in 2009, oh, still representing. That's right. Uh, best of luck to you. Again, Chicken Soup for the Soul, inspiration for teachers out. And I'm sure this is going to encourage so many teachers who are right now in the classroom. Absolutely. We're just finishing up Teacher Very Appreciation good. Week as well. Yeah. So if anyone out there thinks of a teacher who, you know, their kid's teacher or another teacher, the best investment that we can make in our own kids is to give them a highly motivated, inspired teacher. And when we hand them this book, mm -hmm. we're on our way to doing that. Awesome. Alex, thanks so much for dropping by. We'll have a video recap, some information on our website, KUSI.com. You're pretty awesome. You're not so bad yourself. Thank you. Awesome, Alex. We'll be right back with much more right here on Good Morning San Diego. Love the fact.